It's the weekend. On, what am I doing with these? It's the weekend on a weekday. And I'm excited, right? We haven't heard New Weekend in three years. Well, I think that's a lie. We actually heard him on Travis Scott's album last year. But official weekend music just on his dope. Well, no, we actually heard him in 2018 last year with that EP, My Dear Melancholy. Why did that just fall off though? Like that just, like I feel like it did something, but I didn't feel like it did enough. This one's called Blinding Lights and I'm ready to have my vision blurred. I don't wanna see no more after this. I want that nocturnal primal the weekend and I'll explain to you what I mean by that if we don't get that version of him during this song. Being a gangster isn't sexy. All right. I say that to say that The Weeknd has this habit of performing as a rapper in its very braggadocious tone in his R&B and soul tracks. As an R&B singer, he comes off like a braggadocious rapper with the confidence or the certainty of almost a hove mixed with the falsetto capabilities of a Michael Jackson. I'm sorry, all right? It's 2019. How you look with your girl rubbing her hand up and down your leg and she like, oh, what's that? And you gotta, you gotta move you gotta move the you gotta move the Glock out the way because because you want to be out here moving like you Pablo Escobar but really you just a weed delivery man because you wanted to be a gangster so I really hope the weekend hits me with something as confident and as uh, beautiful as he used to blinding lights the weekend let's let's try it. all right take me back to the 80s then okay I didn't want to go here but you you made me. I'm not really smiling, it's just the automatic reflex, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm I'm really digging, you know, the the 80s throwback here. I'm I'm digging like the synth wave inspiration here. Uh I am always interested in his decision to incorporate 80s synth music into his aesthetic it's kind of like he's like branded himself with that now uh, i don't know why he's done it maybe it's in an attempt to make his music a little bit more palatable uh you know he is or has for a long time passed himself off as like this i won't say kurt cobain-esque character but almost like a a, a drug filled musician that's got the success of the biggest most popular person in the entire world trying to navigate through the world looking for something to satisfy his urges and i guess if this is a i guess if i'm relating this track to him and what he's promoted himself as it's like he mentions a line in the song already that's like oh my god i want to be able to do what i want to do and not be like looked at or judged by anyone else it's like imagine thinking of the woman that you're with as like las vegas or like sin city and you get to do whatever you want here and no one else is around it's just you all right i'm on i'm on the fence right because i've heard this music from him before so i don't know if i should like it because it's not really it's odd to say, it's like what T-Pain was trying to do last year, a couple years ago with his Oblivion album, being like the pioneer for auto-tune and then using it so much on your own record when other people have taken it to new heights. It's almost like you're saturating the market that you inspired. Not saying that he's the one that inspired this synthwave aesthetic, because he's not, but he definitely was pioneering it for a while, especially back with Starboy. And when I'm listening to this, I don't know why it sounds unoriginal even though it's it's him and it seems so safe coming from someone like him probably because i look at him as the dark nocturnal primal individual that you know only peers out into the absolute darkest of the night hours to go and creep up on and seduce women and bring them back to a lair and fill them up with drugs and then do okay this sounds terrible i was listening to durand uh, jones and the indications on their american love call album earlier and I just would love to see the weekend over soul you know i would love to see him do something he's got the voice he's got the vocal chops to take himself to a different level and, and, and enter down or go down a different lane i do see this synth wave aesthetic going bad if he releases too much like this i don't mind the song i think it's pretty okay 
but I've heard it from him before, right? So I'm not surprised. Um, I, I love, I, I dig the up tempo beat. I dig the metaphors here, like you know, describing the the city as a females, like you know, physical accessories. I'm drowning in this. I'm blinded by these lights. We've seen the weekend over dark R and B with the trilogy. Uh, you know, earlier on with House of Balloons, we've seen him over you know the the electronic type music the uh, the electronic inspiration type music the synth music the 80s music we've seen him over instrumentals like this now i really would love to see what he would sound like over some 70s over some 80s soul music i just think that would be his lane now he looks like a 70s soul singer with the mustache and nothing else going on like he looks like that now so i'm interested you know i want to see where he takes it i didn't mind this song it's not you know, amazing. It's all right. I'll definitely play it, but I'm looking for something else. I am. I'm looking for something more from the weekend right now because I've definitely felt this before. It feels like a safe route for him. We've definitely, we've definitely walked down this road before is what I'm trying to say. So he's got another song coming out Friday. I'm going to listen to that one as well. But uh, as of right now, I'm teetering. I, I like it, but I'm definitely open to something else if he hits me with something completely different.